Hi, this is Jim Sackman and another one of our Success Friday uh, Focal Point calls on leadership. And uh, this week, uh, our topic is uh, all about leadership and transparency. And uh, one of the guys I worked for Bill, uh, wrote a book named uh, Built on Trust. His name is Tom Studding. Um, it didn't work out that well, but the idea is right, which is a leader needs to inspire trust. And one of the ways they need to inspire trust is to be transparent. And by that, I mean, do you tell your employees about your goals? Now, clearly there are some goals in certain circumstances. If you're a public company and you're off selling the company, you can't tell your employees about it. Um, it's material, not public information and they can get in serious difficulty uh, with the SEC about that. But in general, you need to be able to tell your employees about your goals and your group goals, not just their own personal goals. And there's a lot of value in presenting them. You measure your results and present them openly and regularly. And, and what, does that, what does that look like? Essentially, if you've got uh, an annual goal to sell a, a certain amount of a product, you should present that, uh, public companies do that every quarter, but whatever your goals are, whatever you're doing, whether it's a design function, it's a sales function, it's a marketing function, you should have regular goals, like any planning function in a business plan. You need to measure them, and yeah, these need to be smart goals, and present them openly and regularly. And, and one of the, the beauties of that is, of course, that your employees will will build trust from that. They'll see that you are working to goals and how they can contribute to them. So it's beyond being open. It's all about trust and alignment. Your employees should be able to see how their individual goals add together as a group to build up your group goal. And if, it's, if that works and it's true, then they can see how they're participating in building the group and, 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 you know, and at a grand scale, the company because you ought to be able to describe how your group fits in with the company. Now, if you're an owner, of course, that's really simple. If you're not, if you're an executive or a middle manager, then it's a little more complicated, but you should be able to demonstrate that. And all of that helps the, the, the employee buy into the function that they're doing and helps them understand how their performance affects the outcome, because that's what everybody wants. It, it helps provide control for them. They can see how they can help control the outcome, even if it's only in a minor now, let your employees contribute and help you set goals. So there's corporate goals, there's uh, larger issues within the company, but you ought to have some goals that are specific to your group. And that way, they can help set them up and help uh, build the group and help them become leaders. They'll understand what goal setting is about, what openness is about, what trust is about, what measurement's about, and you'll help grow them as people. They'll, if you measure and report on them openly, then they'll see how things are going and you can use them to help you change direction and correct and, and get back on track with goals. All of that not only helps them buy in, it helps build their leadership skills. So when you need to promote new leaders, when you need to create new leaders within the organization, you've already started the process. So that's a whole lot about transparency and I hope you like this, uh, this video blog. And, uh, change your business, change your life. Jim Sackman, Focal Point.